Hi, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. My name is Simone. I'm the Zen Mommy. I help people with spiritual awakening and ascension and the healing of the mind, body, and soul. And so today, I kind of want to talk about like, this is a subject that came to my mind, but like, I have no idea how it's going to turn out. <laughs> but um, I want to talk about um, shame and restriction and um, the different things that um, tribal consciousness and collective consciousness and used to pretty much um, control you and the reason why I want to talk about restriction is because the way I grew up in the, the religious system that I grew up in um, I had I grew up with a lot of restriction I grew up with a lot of belief systems put on me based on the social the religious group that I was in and with these beliefs it came with a lot of control and a lot of restriction and somehow, in my mind, I believed that this was necessary for me to go to heaven. And so it was told, like, this is what you have to do. You have to live, abide by our rules. You have to, you can't enjoy life. You can't talk to people who go or outside of the church. We call it the, anyone who didn't go to the church was worldly. And we couldn't date outside the church. We couldn't um, have friends, talk to our family members. We couldn't go... Uh, to the movies, uh, definitely not the club. Um, there was just like everything, like, and when it, when we, and if you had an idea to do something and tried it, and when someone found out, they're like, you can't do that either. And so it was just like, you get to, I got to a point in life where I was like, I'm doing this for the greater good. I want to go to heaven one day, right? But the whole time, this restriction is building up. Like, it's, it, it, it see, we are free spiritual beings. We're meant to be free, not under control. So this is, spiritually speaking, uh, any type of restriction is kind of like, is a resistance, okay? Uh, resistance makes stronger. So all along, I feel like there's this part of me that, that cannot be free, that cannot express who I am, that cannot truly love myself. And somehow I've been programmed to think that this was okay to, to, to deny myself because one day I was going to see the pearly gates of heaven by denying all of the things that I really deep down was wanted to experience. Well, oh, no, no, no. That's temptation and temptation is wrong, right? Well, I don't know why I wanted to talk about that. But like, you know, one thing about the awakening, okay, when you wake up to consciousness, um, you see freedom. Uh, this is the beginning of freedom for you, okay? You may not have been in a religious cult like I was. You may have just been in a family that thinks a certain way. You might have been in a gang and you had to be a certain way and be hard for the gang. Or you might be in a, a social, I don't know, uppity tea party group and you had to live a certain way. It's just what I'm saying is there's restriction at every turn in this society, in this world. And see, the awakening is about setting free, okay? It's like, it's setting the bird free. It's setting the butterfly free. You've become, that, that restriction is somewhat like the cocoon of the butterfly, right? And once you awaken, it's just like, woo, you spread your wings and you're, you're like, oh my God, I'm light. <laughs> I'm a spirit, right? And I can float and I, and I have physical form. So you realize that the world around you is so much bigger. You begin to realize that all of these people that say, my God is the God and you are going to hell because you don't worship my God. You start to realize that they're trapped in this illusion that you just woke out of. And so one thing about um one thing that confused me was restriction like god you know and, and a lot of those misaligned beliefs they stay with you like after your awakening when you're going through your ascension process some of that can like hold you back and but one thing that i want to say that the most wonderful liberating feeling in the world is to have freedom from that way of thinking from that mind frame from just just knowing that okay it's okay to enjoy life it's okay to go outside and meet somebody that i never met before and have a great time it's okay to go to the movies if i want to right just like no matter what your restrictions were just like knowing that's when i realized that the soul is meant to be free the spirit is meant to be free we you know in the church we talk about all this about good and evil blah 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 you know 
Restriction is not believing that you're neither, you're neither good nor evil. Restriction is letting that go, letting labels go. I mean, restrict freedom is letting that go and letting labels go. And so, I don't know, I just, I guess I wanted to talk about that is because like, I had to live a life full of restriction. Like even to get on this channel, I couldn't be there, especially not talking about what I talk about, but you know, it just, I couldn't, I wouldn't ever be able to have a presence or an avenue to express myself. And can you imagine maybe being the most beautiful artist in the world, but you're restricted that you can't do that? You know, could you imagine being the most beautiful singer in the world, but someone tells you you can't do it? You know, it's just, we are not meant to be here, to be under someone's rules, someone's control, someone's restriction. See, restriction comes back from, uh, that comes from tribal consciousness, okay? Tribal consciousness at the beginning of mankind when there were no technology, they needed to get people to support the tribe, to, um, to do the farming, to milk the cows, to take care of the animals. They needed someone to help build this tribe. So in order to get control over masses of people who could have probably, everybody would have been fine if they just went and did their own thing, right? But no, in order to get control, you have to in place fear, okay? You have to in place banishment. You have to in place restriction. You have to put rules and regulations. And see, these things are not spiritual. You are a spiritual being. This is an earthly presence. And by any means, we were never meant here to be restricted, controlled. We're here for a special experience, to expand our consciousness, to evolve as a species. And restriction is the last thing we need. And so, I don't know, I just wanted to share that. Thank you for watching. Peace and love. Namaste.